fine. Let's seriously get the hair. Get it tucked in. Let's see what's going on with you guys and what you guys can expect. Between today and January 14th. Mm -hmm. Hope you guys doing good. Um, I hate that you guys missed the live. We did a little brief mini live yesterday. Um, with just actually less than a handful of people. It was really nice. Um, <clears throat> but I will be doing another live Sun. Mm, I'll probably do one Sunday. Well, I was gonna do them for like every Sunday or every Saturday because I figure people should be in the house then every Sunday. So we do it every Sunday. I live every Sunday. I can do like some uh, readings, some free mini readings. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, Spirit, let's see what's going on um, for the Earth. No, I'm sorry. Ooh, wow. For the air signs, Spirit. Let's tap in and see what's going on for the hair signs between today and January the 14th. Um, you guys, if you're not currently a subs uh, subscriber to my channel, please take the time to do so. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you guys can get future messages for yourself. Um, if you guys need a personal reading, please email me at spiritsweekgifted777 at gmail.com. I only uh, currently accept Cash App and Zelle at this time. I did have a demo. I do have it, but I have to um, go on there and I have PayPal. <clears throat> okay, Spirit, what's going on for our air signs? What um, should air signs expect between now and January? The 14th of 2020. I'm picking up betrayal, you guys. Um, somebody's stabbing someone in the back. Air signs. What can my air signs expect? And now, spirit, in the month. Somebody's going to find out they're pregnant or, or your lover is pregnant or your love interest is pregnant. Between now and January 14th. I think you see it. So we do have the Queen of Wands and the Page of Pentacles. Actually, I think it came up like dang, I just got just that fast. <laughs> the Ace of Pentacles. So someone's going to have a new beginning. Um, the first thing I picked up was that a new home. And you're doing your research. Research. Justice card. You're doing your research in regards to purchasing a home. Like how much the equity of the home. Because I don't know anything about all that homes and stuff. But that's what I'm picking up about the equity about the home. Um, you're doing a lot of research about it and how much it will be worth. And somebody's doing research on how much their home <clears throat> is worth because you want to sell it, put it on the market. I feel like you want to use this, the funds for the home um, to purchase or start a business, possibly. You and your current lover. But something is... Um, possibly blocking you so let me tell you the signs that we do have on the board here because I know some people like to hear about the horoscopes on the board so there's currently a Pisces fire sign Aries Leo Sagittarius Libra Capricorn Taurus Virgo that's some strong fire though Going on with the basic 
What's going on with the Ace of Pentacles? Uh, it's uh, air sign. Some of the miscommunications with the air sign. Ace of Pentacles. Yeah. You want to get a nice payout. A nice payout in regards to your home. But I'm, I'm strongly keep picking up you want to use this to start a business that you know is going to make a lot of money. Yeah, because we got the King of Pentacles down here. So you're looking for some money. But I also feel like somebody's going to help you. You got the Six of Pentacles here. So I feel like you're going to get a nice payout. Who's a clarity with this kind of one? Okay, so you, you're feeling blocked. Feel like you're stuck in this home, but you don't want to be stuck in a home. You want to venture out is what I'm picking up. You want to venture out. Give me a little bit more on the King of Wands here. So you reflecting and you're contemplating like, um, which way should I go or which individual um, should you go with? The, uh, the individuals that want to put, um, what do you call it? That want to secure your home. I don't know how the wording that you guys use for that. Give me a little bit more in regards to the page of Pentacle Spirit. Thank you. So you you could be a Capricorn towards a Virgo and have a uh, fire in your chart. But I feel like you still want to contemplate on doing your research. I feel like also either the person that's selling your home is going to tell you you can get more because the person that's trying to bid on your home is bidding kind of low, but you know that they, they're telling you don't take it because that, bur that person has the money to bid more high and actually give you more than what you're asking for because your home is worth more. Thank you, Spirit. Yeah, so are you going back and forth with this person in regards to your home? You feel like they're not going to give you a fair deal on your home. You also could be some somebody could be in despair um, in regards to a Libra, someone who broke your heart. Yeah, we got the three of pentacles right here through so a third party, and just also the person wanting to do a business. Yeah, you could be fighting back and forth with a love interest for some of you. regarding a home like your lover could want to sell it for a certain price because they feel like you guys are not going to get higher a higher amount but you are anything else I'm kind of this five of wands, what else is going on? I feel like somebody's trying to block you from getting more money a little bit more than five of wands Somebody's uh, trying to fight you. And I think this is your love interest telling you, no, we need to take this amount. We're not going to get higher. Well, you know what? Stand your ground, sis, bro. <laughs> You're going to get higher amount. Two thirty on this case of wine. Yeah. Put your foot down, honey. Put your foot down. Two thirty on the case of wine, please. Thank you, sweetie. Yeah. You guys gonna get a nice uh, amount because they're gonna think you're gonna choose to go. I think if I were you, I would tell the person who's uh, what do you call them? People lower hammers. I can't even get the word in. Like the technical word for it. Um, the person who's putting your house on the market for you. Tell that person to tell them you're gonna go with someone else. And that person that they told you that was actually have money, they're very well off, and they will go higher. Once that person tell them that you guys are going to get way above how much your home is worth, way above it, because they want to, they, even though it's really nice, they want to do something else to it. Okay. Anything else? Yeah. Some of you are going to get recognition from a fire sign. They want to come towards you and tell you how they truly feel about you. Okay. Yeah. See? Messenger. You, you could be a public speaker or this person is just going to send your message to another person. I wouldn't be surprised if somebody go on. Oh, Lord, hold on, y'all. Y'all know we have Okay. Yeah, 
Now, you could be on some type of platform because we have the messenger in the world um, here. Hold on. Let me mix this up. Some of you could be very defensive towards someone that's coming towards you. This could be a Pisces here or someone that has Pisces in their chart or you have Pisces in your chart. This could be someone that has fire in their chart. And this also could be somebody that was in and out of your life and you're just sick of it. They really cut throw with their words. This could be some, you could have been messing around with a boss figure. Someone in higher authority than yourself. Could be a lever. Oh, look at them. They just point blank pulled the cards out from me. Okay, spirit. Thank you. I do feel that you guys are overly sensitive. I'm, I'm picking up a high priest, high priestess. <laughs> Look, y'all. I told y'all I'm picking up a high priest or high priestess. And lo and behold, uh, Spirit is telling you to follow your intuition. I feel like you think someone is hiding something from you like a baby. And that could be true because we do have the empress here. And you've been thinking about this? Spirit said, don't worry about it. Trust your instinct. You could have seen someone in a car. And this is the Cancerian. You could have seen this love interest in a car with someone else. I seriously need a desk. And I keep saying I'm going to get a desk, but... This person could have broke your heart before because we do have the three of swords at the bottom of the deck. Or when you saw this person in a car with someone, that's how you knew if they were cheating. Yeah, they were cheating, all right. Could be a habitual cheater. They could have been on some type of uh, major platform um, for hookup sites. I, I don't do that Tinder and all that shit. I don't even know none of the sites. That's the only one I know of. <laughs> but I know there's plenty of them. Somebody's job could be shortchanging them hours. It's ironic because I picked this up some time ago as well. And it's because um, it's because you fucking around with either your your fucking around with your superior who cuts them checks, or you um your superior has a hot spot and you turn them down. Yeah, you turn them down, you walk the work, and they're like, no, I'm not interested. Some of you actually could be walking away from um, a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio, or a Leo, or an air sign. You just wasn't interested. You wasn't interested at all. What else, Spirit? Any other messages for the air signs, please? Spirit, from now until January 14th, please. Okay. Yeah, y'all just want to focus on your, your coins, securing that bag. Some of you could be stressing about your coins or how much you need to make to secure a new home because you had to quickly leave from another home in regards to some type of, I just felt a scuffle, but it, it came to where it was a, a verbal, a verbal altercation and then it became a scuffle. Someone could have got fired from their job. They had to uh, go to them labor like jobs. What do you call them labor? Them day labor jobs. I mean, it's, it's money, but it's not what you anticipated on having. But it, you know, it helps you out to get you by day to day. Make uh, you know, buy you food. But I do feel um, there is light at the end of the tunnel. I keep picking up. Like I'm seeing the, the the sun card, even though it's down here, I'm seeing the sun card like things are gonna get better for you, okay? There's gonna be actually two jobs that's gonna come um to pass for you, and you're gonna have to pick choose which one you want. I also feel there's gonna be two individuals coming together, um, uh, conversing with one another, talking things out, telling another person how you truly feel. gonna tell somebody they know that they stole something from them they stole some money from them 
Like, I'm mean, like, I know you did this. <clears throat> oh, wow. Air signs. So I just picked up that somebody had access to your phone, whether you gave them the passcode to your phone, they went into your bank app and they actually transfer some funds from your bank account to theirs. They use Zelle. I don't know where pink panties coming from. Spirit just, I just heard pink panties. So I don't know what pink panties is. That's going to mean something to somebody. And it got uh, pink on it. You know, like uh, Victoria's Secret. It has pink on it in black. Yeah. Ooh, wow. And you work really hard for this money, honey. Let's see what else, air signs. Let's see what else. Somebody going to come home. I just picked up someone's going to come home from having sex with a co-worker. And they was giving head in a Xerox uh, room. A Xerox storage room. I guess that Xerox room is a storage facility because of space, lack of space. And you actually do the laundry and this person forgot to uh, wash their panties. I'm here in panties, not drawers, but panties, okay? Yeah, this person left semen in their panties. Like, you could tell they had an orgasm. Like, they tried to clean it up with tissue, but it was still there. And, you know, you guys have been together for over 10 years, and you know the difference between them having pre-com or you know it's not a damn yeast infection. You know it's literally this person had an orgasm. And you know it wasn't because of y'all doing phone sex because they was at work. But also somebody's going to take a leap of faith because they know that their ships are coming in because we have the three of wands down here. We also have the fool card and a magician. So you want to manifest everything that's, that you know is, is owed to you. Well, I don't really like to say it's owed to you because God don't have to give you shit. I mean, I'm sorry. I don't like to use profanity when I'm using the word God. But... I honestly truly feel that God is working on you to teach you to go out there and do the damn gone thing. I was going to say, you know what? Uh, to get what you want. Because he wants to see that you really want it and you got to work hard for it. Show him that you want it. Yeah. He's going to also bless you with a new love interest. Also, I feel like you guys have an interest in port. I wasn't going to even say poetry. Wow. You could be selling poetry to people. They love your poetry. They want you to write a poetry using their name. And they actually want to pay you. Yeah, you're going to make some money off of this. Because you put your, your passion and your heart into it. it. It's like you just flow. You flow with the poetry. But I was going to say uh, you're a painter, an artist. You're very good at painting. What else for the Your sign is here. Thank you. Yeah, somebody walking away from a job. Because we do have the death card here. Could be a Scorpio or a, um, I was going to say air sign, but that's not what I meant to say. Um, sometimes spirit will chime up those many say you know, who is meant to be for it as well. But they're telling me, uh, of course, Scorpio. Um, but we have the two of Pentacles. Someone has to make a choice to walk away. But I was also going to say uh, Earth sign. <laughs> Capricorn towards a Virgo. Somebody's going to choose, have to make a choice between two jobs. And you have to walk away from one because it's, it's draining it's draining you physically as well as mentally. And I'm hearing it's messing up your ascension process because your body is, is just too weak. It's messing with the energy because you're not getting enough rest. The juggling is too much for you. And it's also a strain on your relationship too. Like some of you could have reconnected with your twin, but you're working and juggling these two jobs and it's taking a strain on you guys. Relationship. You, you guys are not having sex like you used to. Even though y'all just, you know, when y'all first got together, y'all was having sex like back to back. 
but I feel like y'all like started off taking off y'all y'all clothes. But when it gets to that part where the penetration part comes or the oral sex, it stops. Like you're too tired and you can't move on or move forward. But I, I feel your love and just love the way you dress. Very classy. You wear nice shoes. You have pretty feet. They could be telling they love your feet. <laughs> Like you keep your feet on point. I love nice feet too. I ain't gonna lie. I like when a piece person keep their feet up. I, I just can't use the jacked up feet. Like you don't care about your feet. It, it's honestly a turn off when you're when you with someone in bed and their feet jacked up all the time. Also, I'm picking up your love interest. Whoever just reconciled with their twin. I think it's in the month. Um, you guys are about to go into business together. We're going to be having a celebration. I need more on this two of pentacles. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you guys, you guys are about to make some money. You got the three of wands. Your ship's about to come in. I also feel that you could be making um, three different residual incomes coming through this. I'm closing for you guys. Yeah, both of you decided to walk away from toxic individuals that are always trying to shoot you and your partner down. Hair signs. Yeah, you're no longer in this toxic type of energy. Both of you actually have grown and did the work and God is blessing you with these multiple strains of income. Give me more in this seven of wands. Yeah, uh, you guys about that. And I actually kept this in here because what it distills is having a beautiful life that you've healed, you transform everything that was done in a light always um, chose to come into the sun. You're very well grounded. You're at peace and you have a closer walk with spirit. OK, and, and that's what you guys going to have here. Friends. Some of you could be meeting someone who's very um, financially stable. Okay, what's up with this financially stable individual spirit for my air signs? Oh, sorry, loves. Let me see. Okay, thank you, spirit, for not going all the <laughs> Yeah, this this could be. Oh, excuse me. This could be a younger individual that you're meeting up with. This could be your boss for some of you. They own this business. You could, I heard you could be um, buying shares into the business because that business is very, very, very well out. I feel like this younger person is actually going to come to you or have some type of business meeting via a social, like Zoom or something like that, and tell all their workers if they wanted to buy into the business, um, they would give them some type of percentage in doing so. And you guys are gonna come out on top doing, I, I, I would take heed to what your boss is telling you. But be careful what you're signing. It's something, even though you guys are gonna come out on top we got the Ten of Pentacles here. You're going to be very well off um, stacking that money up because I feel like it's going to double somehow if you leave it in, in your, like the residual income that's coming through. If you leave it in something, some type of uh, particular stock, because I'm not, I, I don't know all that about that, y'all. I'm not going to sit here and lie and say I know all that. But also somebody, Someone in your energy is going to be coming towards you to gossip about someone, uh, getting married, having a child, things of that nature, and they didn't tell you. And you're going to feel like that person uh, backstabbing you. You could have had an intuition about this, too, to be honest. Okay, Spirit. Give me a little bit more about the four cups. Thank you. Do I got this upside down? Nope. Okay. So the person... Um, I'm feeling also someone could find out, um, looking at someone's phone, um, that 
they're cheating on you or they're entertaining other individuals and there's going to be a big fight uh, a lot of heated um, arguments like cutthroat heated arguments saying things you really don't mean pretty much somebody's um, really cutting people out they lie even a love interest that you really don't want to walk away from but you're choosing to walk away from them because you feel like it's too good to be true. Even though I feel you're making a mistake, um, you have to make that choice on your own, love. This could be Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, or Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio that you're walking away from. Or this could be your um, energy. Give me a little bit more about this Queen of Swords spirit in regards to my hair signs. Thank you. Yeah, this is someone from your past. Y'all could have broke up some years ago. Could have been six years ago. And you guys reconnected. They're coming back to apologize to you about how things, um, how you guys sever your ties with one another. And I'm, I'm feeling like they just stopped calling you. Stop calling you, change their number. Someone left the state. Thank you, sir. Yeah, someone left this, the same state that you guys were in or grew up in. Yeah, they feel like they didn't give you the truth that you deserve. Someone's going to lie to their boss or their boss is going to lie to them about how they truly feel. Because I feel like some of you feel like your boss is everything that you desired in a uh, companion. And this person is not going to be honest with you. They're going to lie because they feel like they don't want to get in trouble, pretty much. They do not want to get in trouble. Somebody could be fucking around with a cop who's been lying to them. I feel like this person is going to break up with you. Give me a little bit more about the king. A source and a nine of cups spirit in regards to the situation here. Give them a little bit more clarity, please. Yeah, they're gonna break your heart. This could be Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, um, because there's a third party. They're seeing someone else. I really feel it's the seven of cups. They're seeing multiple people. They could have Virgo in their chart too, or you can have Virgo in your chart. So give me a little bit more about this person that's getting the swords with this. Um, Nine of Cups and this Three of Swords, please. Because I'm picking up Seven of Cups, y'all. They have multiple options, so. <laughs> Wheel of Fortune. I don't know why I feel like they're coming into some, some type of money or they have a lot of money. They're using their money to actually uh, do what they want out of people, out of females or even out of males. But I'm telling y'all, I'm picking up the Seven of Cups. I don't know if we already had that on the board. Yeah, this person is very hard working, but they, I feel like they're using their, using their money to get people. But you're going to get clarity in regards to it, okay? You may end up standing with someone. Spirit, what am I picking up the seven of cups with this king of swords, spirit? And they may be an emperor in Aries. Yeah, they have authority, some type of authority. What am I picking up the seven of cups with this person, spirit? There's something else going on, y'all. Yep, judgment's going to come for this person. More immediately after you guys um, stop dealing with each other. Yeah, they're dishing out their money to different people. <laughs> and they don't mind doing it. But they feel like that's not what the... See, Hermit keep coming up. It's going to be a Virgo. Or have a Virgo in your chart. Hey, why am I picking up the seven of cups? Amen. They could feel stuck in a relationship and they're going to come and give you. Somebody's going to, you gotta, you guys going to get something via a uh, message, whether that's your inbox on Facebook or somebody's going to actually call you through Facebook. I 
I feel like you're going to block it. Like you're going to block it. Either they're going to call you and they hang up. It could be the person, one of the people that they're dealing with, that this emperor is dealing with. Yeah, it's a third party, I'm telling y'all. It's a third party, but I keep picking up. And it's someone that they could have moved away with or moved in with. But I'm telling you, I'm strongly picking up this person has multiple options. They have the seven of cups. I keep feeling that strongly. Wait. I keep feeling the seven of cups. I don't know. I trust that. I trust that. Ooh. Yeah, some sneaky behavior. Seven of swords. They could, you know what? They could be flip-flopping between you, uh, air, air signs. They could be with you one minute, telling you about their ex-lover or someone they was dealing with why they're not with that person. Then do the same with them. Mm -hmm. What else? What else going on with my air signs? What can they expect? Wow. They could be married. Or going to be married to someone. Or about to propose to someone. And they're only marrying this person because the sex is good or somebody's pregnant. That's what I'm picking up. Yeah, they're going to move in with this person. Or move away from either that's your state to another state. This could be a person that's a Gemini or, or you have Gemini in your chart. But they can be kind of wishy-washy too. I do feel they're very well in doubt in bed, or they love to uh, jerk off, or jerk you off, or get you off, and make you have an orgasm. They really feel that fulfilling sexual desires like that. It, it, it's like they're happy um, messing around with different people. They feed people game just to be with them, to have different people. Some of them don't mind. Yeah, they in and out of people's lives. We got the night of wands. They go back and forth. This is a fire sign, too. I'm strongly feeling a fire sign that does this. Like, they don't really want to settle down, to be honest. But some of them in some type of serious commitment with somebody. But this, the person that they're in a serious commitment with, they don't care that they're fucking around with these different people because they're able to do it as well. And they're watching their every move. And it's all about money. Like, this, this fire sign, whoever they're fucking around with, they give them money. But they also, the people that they give money to, they, they're stacking that money. Just in case they know this person's not going to be around all the time. And maybe in this sphere. What else, spirit? What else you have for my uh, air signs, please, in regards to the situation? Okay, some yeah, somebody in some type of business. Um, a business with someone. This could be a trans, which who cares? That doesn't make a difference. But I just think spirit is just trying to uh, point out some things for you guys, okay? Or they could be transitioning. Let's see what else is on the board, loves. What else you have for my Aristotle spirit? I don't know if something's asking me to ask about this Eight of Pentacles here. Yeah, somebody's thinking about... Um, I feel like it's like go back to an old job or leave that old job. I mean, leave their current, yeah, go leave their current job and go back to an old job. So someone's thinking about returning to an old job, but they're they're thinking the distance is too far. What do you have with the seven of swords? Here, so my inner signs. Thank you. Yeah. Somebody's traveling pretty far to see someone. What about the nine of wands here for the inner signs? What do you have for the what do you have for the air signs that are going to see? Somebody's jagging off a lot. Somebody used it as a manifestation.
somebody could be using their body um, to stack money to get a house. <clears throat> and also to start a business, they need extra funds to do so. Or they're linking up with someone that can actually um, clear them for their business. Um, like they got some type of violation for a business is what I'm picking up in their community. And this person told them that they can do something for them. But, the, um, or you could have offered your services to this person in a sexual way. Like you, using, you literally are using your body for them to clear you for your business to open up. And you're committed. What's going on with this Ten of Pentacles here? And the additional match just for the Ten of Pentacles for my air sign. And the additional match just for my air sign for the Ten of Pentacles. Thank you. Hmm. Yep, of course, yep. Told you guys. Somebody's married that you don't know about. But I feel they got some type of business together or somebody's going to be going into business with your lover that you're living with or somebody you're fucking with, like a base ship, fuck buddy, friend with benefits, whatever you want to call it, boo boo. Some of you need to be very cautious with a person that's coming back. Uh... Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio that's coming back to apologize. Not the fact that they want to apologize, but you should really contemplate what their true motive is in doing so. Like, they want to gift you something, but they feel like you got to be a gift to them. Like, I feel like you're going to come into some money or something like that. And they just want to use it for financial reasons or because they possibly need somewhere to stay also. Yeah, see, unexpected income. Because this tried to pop out, but actually they popped it down. Um, yeah, that's their. They know that you're gonna have unexpected income, and they know that they can't help you the way they used to. Um, I'm also picking up that they're gonna need a place to stay, just to lay low. Yeah, because they say they feel you're gonna have great fortune, and this could be somebody that's in within a law official or they're a veteran. Okay, they had a great deal of despair. They're going through something with some woman that they're dealing with who has a child. They could have some type of marriage commitment or commitment of some sort with them. Um, they used to be pretty wealthy, but their finances is on a hold. So it was meant for this person to go through this change and this journey. They found out that this person was just working their ass using them. And they could be in bad health, you guys. So don't have sex with them. Okay, don't have sex with them. That's a warning. A little bit more in regards to that situation of that unexpected income scare. A little bit more in regards to this unexpected income. It's a gift from God. A gift from the universe. He's blessing you with this. But he's also blessing you with this so you can... They, he, oh, wow. You guys are being warned not to mess with this person sexually on no intimate level whatsoever. This person um, could be possible... Well, it is, ain't no possibly... They are ill. So I feel that some of them may tell you guys, but some may not. They may keep it to themselves. And don't intense and don't anticipate on having sex with you. They're intimate with you. They just need your help. They just need someone to be there for them. And it's nothing wrong with that. It's nothing wrong with helping them because I feel like this person helped you before. They could be going through a divorce with someone and their funds are locked down. Um they like froze their accounts and they really truly need a friend right now. And they feel like they can trust you, even though they could have dirt, done you dirty. And yeah, they're going through a major change, okay? So, air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, someone is going to be coming towards you because they need your help, okay? There's nothing wrong with helping them, but I would not be intimate with them. Yeah. They feel like this person, they work so hard at their job, they could have been just on the brink of um, retirement. And the person that they're married to or in some type of business relationship with, this person know that they're trying to retire and they don't want them to retire. So they're trying to snatch as much money as they can from them or they retire and they had some type of an agreement 
and they're trying to get money from them so they can um, pay them some type of alimony. And from what I'm picking up, they weren't even married or together no more than three years, you guys. So they're not going to get shit. Shit. Because the, the judge going to see right through this person. Like, you just money hungry. They're not going to get them shit. I mean, nothing. Yeah, this person think that they're really going to be um, homeless. They think they're going to be homeless, but they're not. They was put in this situation for them to walk away from this person. God was trying to show them, you know what? You have to go. Enough is enough. So since you're not going to do it, I'm going to have to do it for you. So the universe intervened. God intervened. I feel like there's some more in regards to what happens. What's going on with a house spirit in regards to the air signs? What's going on with this house situation here? For my air signs, please. Thank you. Yeah, the person that they're married to has expectation that they're going to be the one to get the house, but I feel like the, the judge is not going to let it play off that way. Nope. They're going to sell it, and it's going to be legally binding that they sell the house, and it can go either way. Either the judge decides that when, when they um, put the house up for sale, unless it's in that person's name who's coming, who needs your help, then it's going to be their house. It's, it's not going to go to the person they were married to. Another aspect is if even though the person paid for the house and it's their name and they have that other person under them, um, it can still go towards that person, but the judge may tell them they need to actually sell it. But I feel like it's still going to wait towards the person who needs your help. That's what I'm feeling. What are the thoughts, part? What are the thoughts, spirit? We have for the thoughts in regards to my air signs. What's the situation, please? What do you have with the thoughts, please? Air signs come through with the thoughts. Thank you. in reverse despair coffin and privilege so i feel like because your person walked away from them that shifted that made a, a, a major shift god was very proud of them to not try to stick it out with this person because this person felt like they they're uh the person that they were with feel like they are due so much and God's going to teach that person a lesson as well as the person that's coming towards you and needs your help. Okay? Okay, Spirit, what's going on with this distant horizon with my air signs, please? Thank you. Yep. God's going to gift them. All you had to do was walk away. You were in a great deal of despair. Like, you was to the point where you were so stressed and having horrible anxiety. Could have been possibly suicidal. But God knew to, it was time to step in because it's not your calling to do that. God didn't want you to take your life for that. So he had to step in and intervene. Former veteran, or you could have some a veteran helping you, or former soldier helping you, or you could be going through this with a veteran because it's in reverse. Could have walked away from someone. Yeah, you're you're this this is an enemy of yours too. You think that this person actually has your back, but they want you in sorrow for breaking up with them. I'm feeling like walking away from them. It's all about fortune with them. You thought they was a Miss Goody Two Shoes, but no. No, this, this person has an ulterior motive. So you, you guys need to be careful. Because people that come in our lives, and I'm telling y'all, 
it's for a reason and, and they only stay for a season. God be trying to teach us certain things and seeing if we're paying attention and seeing if we learned our lesson. We all still have things we need to work on. It's a process. Okay, but we got to open our eyes and wonder, why do I keep going through the same situation? Ask yourself that. Why am I going through the same situation? It's because you haven't learned and God's trying to get you to learn. Learn your lesson. Thank you, Spirit. Have hope. Have hope. Stop being in despair. Yeah, it's a challenge, but it's meant for us to learn, okay? I feel like who, this person that's coming towards you, y'all used to be lovers. The one that's going to um, have a, a, a old flame come back to them and, and apologize and need help, need a place to stay or a place to lay low. If they had to walk away from this toxic behavior. And God planned all this accordingly. Everything happened in divine time. And it was meant for you to choose to either you're going to hold a grudge and not help this person or... Release all that anger and bitterness and help them. Because I do feel this person used to help you a lot. Like they were behind you 100% even though they was a cheater and a liar. Possibly a narcissist too for some of you. But I feel you're going to help this person. Thank you, sir. Y'all could have been engaged before or talked about being married. You hope that you guys were going to reconcile or get married. Could have uh, spoke about having a child or adopting a child. I feel like both of you couldn't have a child. Because both of you could have had a hysterectomy. But this person is messing around. Could be messing around with a younger party. This younger individual who they could have left you for um, or chose over you, of course, uh, could have been ill or your love interest, your former love interest or your, um, they could have went to the doctor because they was feeling some type of way. I'm feeling lightheaded, but they knew something was very wrong. Something was off with their health. Yeah. And this person, this is somebody that they was married to or some type of commitment with. This person um, gave them something made them sickly but they was I feel like they were in doubt they didn't feel like no it's not true they told me they wasn't sickly or they told me they were clean or something like that but something something just was off and they chose to go to the doctor okay hold on merchant yeah something was off and they may divulge this to you. I do feel like they will. But they, it's like, they know in their heart they do have something. Or they have something and they felt like, no, it's not true. I don't believe, I don't believe they did this to me. It's not true. But this person was a thief. The person that was in their life. They just wanted to steal from them. They just wanted to take from them. They really didn't want to be with them. They put on the facade just to get what they wanted from them. This person was very deceptive and didn't want you and this person to reconcile. Um, I also feel that they could have did some type of root work to keep you guys from being together. But they only delayed it. So I feel like spirit is allowing you to have a choice if you want to reconcile with this person. Um, I feel like you guys are going to build more of a friendship. It's not going to be like trying to reconcile, but if you choose to fall in love with each other all over again, there is a possibility that you guys can re, uh, reunite, reconcile, but you're just going to be friends. You're going to be there for them. You're going to be there for them, listen to them, console them, but you're not going to be trying to be with them on a sexual level, on any type of intimate type of platform. And they're not going to be there way anyway because they have so much going on in their head right now that that's the least of their worries. Are they horny? Yeah, I do feel that. But they're going to surprise you. 
because we got the surprise card here. You're going to be kind of ha pretty happy to see them, though, too. Any other messages from Tori Weaver? I also feel like somebody could be going to prison for misusing appropriate funds, certain funds for some reason. Like working at a bank or something like that, either you were stealing or you was linking people up with houses, like approving them and they weren't supposed to be approved. Um, passing them to be, but you were, that was considered stealing or embezzlement or something like that. Yeah, but you're about to go to jail for that. This is someone that worked at a bank. I'm here at TCF Bank. What's that other banana? Banana Republic or something like banana something. I don't know the name. Bako, Bako, whatever the hell it is. I don't even know if that's still around. I thought that was closed down. I don't know y'all. But it's a bank. I just see a B and I see uh Yeah. They go friend cards, so that lets me know that you are you guys are gonna start off as friends. Y'all might find out one of y'all friends going to be going to jail. Need to find a lawyer. This could be a high school sweetheart. Y'all could have just, um, what do you call it? Celebrated a car. One of your friends get helping you get a, get a, heart, a, a car. And they've been talking and going to the country, helping people. Now they're going to go to prison because someone got caught wind of what they were doing. Satan's trying to please you guys, make you guys happy. Yeah, it's all about money too. Please, please, thank you. Yeah, they are waiting something. Somebody could be in a hospital with someone that's ill. Cause it's a, a amazing how spirit put waiting. And they're in a room together, like waiting room, like hospital, emergency room, somebody's sickly. Someone's sickly is what I'm picking up. Yeah, not feel like a family is gathering. A family is gathering together. If someone's got the past, they're going to transition. Yeah. They're about the past. Someone's about the past. They're going on um, a spiritual. Someone's going on a spiritual journey. They're about to pass over, transition over, whichever way you want to float it. Okay, any other messages for the air sign spirit? Any other messages for the air sign? Someone's broke. That's going to change. It's not going to stay like that. It's going to pick it up. Yeah. See? Yeah, somebody's in debt. Um, could be a male relative. Y'all could be having some type of heated argument. I feel like somebody stole from someone. Anyone that's just the air sign is dead. It's going to come out in January. This, this is a big deck, y'all. Sorry, January and short term. Oh. Yep, told you guys might want some type of uh, spiritual. Uh, somebody's connecting with a loved one on the other side. They're transitioning over. Someone's sickly, they went to the emergency room. They could have passed an emergency room, and everyone had their family, friends, and stuff like that had gathered around and prayed over the person. And then you didn't have all the on the other side. Yeah. You go to a confirmation in regards to you guys need to go to the doctor, get you a clean bill of health. Someone could be finding out that they have cancer. You've been told by another loved one who had cancer to um, actually be cancer. Um, they were taking weed as a supplement to help them with the pain and nausea. I feel like you're about to be, well, I'm going to say blessed with, um, what's they call it? 
I forgot the name of what you call it, but you go to the doctor and they approve you for, um, what they call them cards so you can go to the dispensaries and get weed. <laughs> One of them cards, I can't think of the name. Somebody gonna be cutting ties with someone um, that clean them out. Or they can try to get to you for them. They cut ties. Like completely cut in ties with a partner. You know, some of the changes that you have it. Thank you, sir. Yeah, I've got a present card again. Someone's into astrology. I'm going to be doing a lot of charitable work. Somebody's uh, meditating to uh, the sounds of nature, the beach, like water, waterfalls. Someone's seeing a lot of synchronicities. Somebody's choosing to be single and not want to be in a relationship. All they want to do is focus on their coins, work really hard, and save in their finances. Mostly because of the COVID situation. Somebody's trying to save up to get someone out of prison. Someone could be going to visit someone in prison. And someone could be going to pick someone up who's getting out of prison. Let's get some clarity um, messages for you, uh, Air Signs. Jamal, we hear a chorus. Oh, Spirit, oh, Spirit, what do you have for my Gina Libra Aquarius um, between now, January 8th to January 14th of 2021? Oh, that's just a clarity you'd like to hear them. Mm, great success, we're going to come to you guys. Gina Libra Aquarius, Air Signs. Damn! OMG, love. I got the show because you would not believe it. Great success twice. You know how sometimes they do typos? Well, honey, ain't nothing um, on accident because it's two different signs on the back. So great success is going to come to you guys. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, honey. Mm, okay. Hey. Focus on the good things rather than the bad air signs. You have earned the respect of the group. Time to take charge. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. There are some hidden forces at work. You guys got to protect yourself. Because that remember when I had that seven of wands? You need to protect your energy, okay? When you, when you make a promise, keep it. Detach from the drama and have patience. Let me make this even. Let's get a... Uh, one, two, three, four more, you guys. So we're going to have four more messages from my air signs, please. They probably will give me more. I have to <laughs> Yep. <laughs> I knew it. Okay, let's see. Time to do something different. Step away so that you open up the prospect of another journey and success will come. Have faith in yourself, spirit. Oh, my God. I'm going to say have faith in yourself, um, viewers. Sorry, I don't know what's here. <laughs> Let go of the untainable. It will come to you if it is supposed to. Let me reread really that for you Air signs. Let go of the unattainable. It will come to you if it is supposed to. Think back to a social situation in which you took command. Things work out. If you entitle yourself, there is a significant other that admires this quality in you. Ooh, okay. So y'all got some secret admirers. This, uh, the situation will change if you stop blaming and try to understand. So if you have an understanding, heart, mind, understanding, spirit. I know sometimes it's hard for a lot of us to judge people. Um, and say, don't give up. Ask what's not wrong instead of what's wrong. This will bring awareness to the elements of happiness. Okay. Be diligent and virtuous. Mm -hmm. Something telling me to look on the other side. Take your time. <laughs> A deep realization or a major breakthrough is experienced within the next few days. Ooh, do tell y'all. Make sure y'all comment below and let me know, okay? Who you are and how you think and express attracts 
like energy. So once you think that energy pulls out into the universe and it pulls that same energy back, little effort brings big rewards. Okay. Ooh, so um, air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I want to thank you guys for visiting my channel. Um, I pray that this uh, resonates with you for you guys to push, press forward towards whatever it is that your heart desires. I wish everyone nothing but happiness, love, bliss, and overflow of abundance in all areas of your life. If you guys would like to um, book a reading with me, please email me at spiritualgiftis777.gmail.com. Um, I do write at this moment, I'm only using Cash App and Zelle. I, I do have Vimo as well. Um, I'm going to upload this, but I'll come back and put that information in the description box for you guys. Um, don't forget to give your girl a thumbs up. And if you're not currently a subscriber, please um, subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to hit that notification bell for future breakfast um, messages for you guys. <laughs> Love and light to you guys. And I'll see you in the live. Okay? Um, even though I did the live yesterday, it was a little mini one. So I think the next live, it depends on what I'm doing that week. I might end up doing it the next following Sunday. Because I think I'm going to do the lives on Sunday. That way everybody be at home. Um, let's see. I think that's it. That's all I'm thinking about right now. Okay, so love and light to you guys. SG.